हाई फ्रेंड इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फर्स्ट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन फॉर मोर अपडेटेड टेक्निकल वीडियो माई चैनल नेम इज रियल लाइफ इंद्रजीत पाल टूडे आवर डिस्कसिंग टॉपिक इज ट्रांसमिशन टावर एंड स्ट्रक्चर टावर और स्ट्रक्चर इज ए लैटिस स्ट्रक्चर दैट सपोर्ट इंसुलेटर्स ओभारेड ट्रांसमिशन लाइन कंडक्टर्स एंड ओभारेड आर्थवेयर और सिल्डवेयर टावर एंड स्ट्रक्चर्स आर थ्री डायमेंशनल फैब्रिकेटेड लैटिस स्ट्रक्चर्स मेड अप बाय बोल्टिंग रिवेटिंग वेल्डिंग द स्ट्रक्चरल मेम्बर ऑफ गैलभानाइज स्टील और कैडमियम स्टील due to limitations of transmitting voltage up to 400 kV in india now 765 or 1000 kV voltage rating or voltage levels is used in india within india so rigid self supporting tower are used for transmission the tower may be single or double circuit when a tower has only one circuit it is called vertical tower a double circuit tower is called horizontal tower depending on several factors the towers are classified as follows straight line tangent or suspension tower v or i type section tower or tension tower small angle tower 2 to 15 degree medium angle tower 15 to 30 degree large angle tower greater than 30 degree with dead end large angle tower greater than 30 degree corner tower anchor tower long span tower greater than 300 meter transposition tower take off tower turning tower crossing tower anti wind tower etc so this different type of towers are present in transmissions line now we discussed about the rigid self supporting towers has the following parts trunk cross arm earth wire support guy anchor stub mainly section tower and suspension tower are used section towers are classified by the cross arm angle the tower are a type tower the angle is 2 degree b type tower the angle is 3 degree to 30 degree c type tower the tower is 30 degree to 60 degree d type tower 60 degree to 90 degree a type tower is used normally in the line b type tower is used in the road crossing c type tower is used in the turning point d type tower is used in a special type tower and it is mainly used in hilly area though in some difficulty cases it can be used the substations incoming tower should be c type here in the pictures you can see this is the suspension type tower generally uh, through line where the straight or through line uh, are just passing through they are the suspension type towers is used this is the section towers uh, section towers are generally used in the turning point in the crossing point in uh, uh, the last tower that is the incoming tower of the transmission tower of Uh, any substation there the section towers are used <laughs> so friend today we discussed about the transmission tower and its structure it is so important in the transmission business or transmission company so by help of this transmission tower we are transmitting the power and we are getting the revenue from the market through uh, distribution companies network so friend if you are interested to show my video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more update
थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग माय वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच